So we're here at Great Things. I'm joined by Vicky Holloway, and Vicky actually helps businesses tackle new challenges and problems from what's called a strength-based approach. Welcome, Vicky. Hello. So your business is working with companies in this strength-based, as we said, approach to the layman. What does strength-based mean? Strength-based, as you'd imagine, is really working from people's unique capabilities and strengths. And I don't just mean people as individuals, I'm also talking about teams and departments and whole organisations. We all have things that we love doing, we all have things that we're good at, we all have unique resources. A strength-based approach will seek to utilise those to make sure that whatever you're working towards actually has the greatest chance of succeeding because you're using those strengths. How does your approach then differ from other ones that have been used? So it's different because it actually utilises the things that people get excited about. It utilises their passions, it allows them to be in a place where they can actually build on the things that they love. We know from plenty of research that when people are in this space of being able to create, their performance improves. They can do more, they're more motivated, it helps the organisation towards success. If you're in a constant environment where things are critical and negative, what will happen to that team that those individuals is that they'll be operating on a very low level of stress permanently um, and when you're in that permanent level of stress you lose your ability to be creative. If you were selling this to me, to me or to somebody at the top level I'd, I'd need some quantifiable benefits. How, how would you do that? There's lots of organisations that have used this. It's used in nursing, there's a lot of clinical reports, it's very widely known um, in America. Uh, it's gaining traction over here. What it does is it allows organisations to innovate because it taps into the creative potential that humans have and it allows people to think differently. You know, some of the organisations, they've been using these approaches because it's beneficial to them to do so. They want to be able to tap into those resources. If you keep doing the things that don't allow your teams to actually um, grow and, you know, be creative, then you're, you're putting a, a lid on your business. With appreciative inquiry, it's because it's so generative, people remain engaged with it. Once you've actually started to use the process and the more people that are on board with it, you're going to have people that actually want to work for your organisation. You're going to have people that are committed to your organisation and actually want to stay with you and, and, and keep doing the best they can for you in the organisation. So in terms of maintaining it, what you have to do is, is live it. You have to live that appreciative life really. We're sat here at Great Things which is yeah. organised by um, Wynn yeah. and you've been involved with Wynn for, yeah. for a while. I mean how has Wynn helped you sort of in the development of your business and, and sort of getting this concept out there? Yeah. Wynn's been brilliant, I really really support Wynn. For a start there's some really great people here, um, Jess that, that runs it and puts it together. Her energy and enthusiasm is unrivaled I think. <laughs> and she's been absolutely brilliant. Um, the events that are put on, they're, they're a great networking event. Because you've met people through Win that you've gone yes. on to do business with, is that correct? Y yes, there's, there's quite a number of people that I'm actually sort of, you know, collaborating with and what have you now to sort of put things together. It's been a brilliant resource, but something that I'm always happy to contribute back to as well, because it's my local area. I want to support Worcestershire businesses as well. Wonderful. So if businesses want to find out about you as a facilitator yeah. or learn a bit about the strength-based or appreciative inquiry approach yeah. where can they find out more information well they can find me on linkedin so i'm on linkedin vicky holloway um, my company is vicky holloway limited and my website is www.vicky-holloway.co.uk <laughs> and, and, and everything will be there and and all my contact details are on there yeah sounds great well vicky thank okay. you very much indeed lovely thank you very much